1. Practice until talking to strangers is second nature. 1. The best way to overcome social anxiety is by confronting it head on. Talking to strangers is like any other skill, the more you do it, the better you get at it. With enough practice, it will feel completely natural to you. You won't even have to think about how to manage conversations with strangers. The best way to practice is to set weekly goals. 2. Don't overwhelm yourself. If you find talking to strangers overwhelming, take it slow at the beginning. You might begin by promising yourself that you'll talk to two strangers in a week. Add one person each week. Keep pushing yourself, though. There's a fine line between taking on too much and not taking on enough. While you don't want to overwhelm yourself, you also don't want your fear to hold you back. Get out of your comfort zone. Image titled Talk to Strangers Step 2 2. Attend social events by yourself. That's right, don't invite anyone along. Put yourself in a social situation where you won't know anyone else. Without any friends to hide behind, you'll be more likely to put yourself out there. Keep these outings low stakes. If you don't talk to anyone the first couple times, that's fine. You still went out and were among strangers, which you never would have done before. Look for events around town where you'll be able to start conversations with strangers, art shows, book readings, music concerts, museum exhibitions, outdoor festivals, geek gatherings, parades, rallies, protests. Image titled Talk to Strangers Step 3 3. Ask a friend to help. 3. If the idea of talking to a stranger on your own is too much, enlist the help of a more outgoing friend. With her help, you can practice talking to strangers while still having a familiar face to make you feel comfortable. Don't let your friend carry the entire conversation, though. Make sure she knows that you want to contribute more than you might normally contribute. Image titled Talk to Strangers Step 4-4, Don't Overthink It. If you obsess over all the ways things can go wrong before you start a conversation with a stranger, you're setting yourself up to fail. The more you think about it, the more anxious you'll get. When you see someone you want to talk to, break the ice immediately, before you have a chance to talk yourself out of it. The adrenaline of the moment will carry you past your nerves. 4. Image titled Talk to Strangers Step 5 5. Fake it till you make it. 5. Talking to strangers can be intimidating and exhausting, especially when the stakes are high. If you go on a job interview or want to talk to an attractive person, you might worry that everyone can see how uncertain you feel. But no one knows how nervous you are but you. Just pretend you're more confident than you actually feel, and the person you're talking to will see what you want them to see. Remember, the more you practice talking to strangers, the less you'll have to fake your confidence. Image titled Talk to Strangers Step 66 Don't let rejection get you down. When you start putting yourself out there, you may well get the brush off from someone you approach. But as a shy person, you know perfectly well that sometimes, people just don't feel like talking. If someone rejects your approach, don't take it personally. Try to see failure as exciting, it's a chance to learn and improve. People don't bite. The worst thing that can happen is that someone will say they're busy or want to be left alone. That's not the end of the world. Nobody's watching or thinking about you but you. Don't worry about people laughing at you, they're all busy thinking about themselves.